Hey everybody, it is Mergle, and today the command center has come up on the North American servers. On the European servers, it looks like you guys are going to be getting it in maybe four to five days, but uh, it does have the same buff coming around. Now, the buff is War Effort. It says chance when earning Legion Fall War Supplies to get bonus Legion Fall War Supplies. I assume this buff is like the Nether Storm buff, and it'll have a chance to double your Legion Fall War Supplies that you would have naturally got. So when you kill these guys, there's a chance you're going to get 16, you know, much higher, which is really good for rep farming. Um, also, I apologize if I didn't see these before, but I think there are new missions. See, there's three missions that are elite missions this time around. I only remember artifact power before, and the artifact power this time around is 11.8 million, um, which is really high. Uh, that's at max artifact knowledge, but it can potentially be 23.6 million if you have the Legion Fall United buff. Because it says artifact power items gained through world quests and missions have a chance to grant double artifact power. Very, very good amount of artifact power from a single mission, assuming it procs. So, really good there. Now I say, I don't remember these being here, so... If they were, I apologize for being blind last time, but anyways, these are really good missions. See, it says Elite Strike Legion Fall Supply Cache, 500 Legion Fall War Supplies. This is 5 chances at Legendaries, as well as 750 rep. Amazing amount of rep. And then uh, this one is the Sentinax. It's 7,500 7, Nether Shards. This is a full set of 850 gear on an alt if you need it. Like you're leveled an alt right now, send this mission. You have an entire set of 850 gear right there. Very good missions. Now, for these missions, they last three days. And they all take the exact same thing to counter. There's also no bonus rewards on these anymore. They remove bonus rewards. These are your rewards. But they take three days to send so since they all take the exact same thing to counter you may only be able to send one of these missions and still hit a hundred percent if that makes sense however what I would recommend is if you have any kind of buff that increases how fast your missions get completed that means your really good guys can be back before the three days are over because it lasts the duration of the command center so if you can get these guys back to send another mission, you could use really good guys to get 100% on two of them. Or you could risk it and send, like, missions at maybe 80 or 90%. I mean, that's still really high in your favor, but these are good rewards you really don't want to miss out on. But it's up to you to choose. I read that on, I think it was MMO Champion, it said only... 33% of the players have completed Broken Isle Pathfinder Part 2 to get flying, so this is 750 rep along with the 5 legendary chances. And then you've got the dungeon mission for an additional 250 rep. That's a thousand rep you wouldn't naturally get, so definitely I would pick that if you had to choose between any of the three. Artifact power is nice. But you're gonna, you can get it by passively playing the game anyway. You're gonna get it from your Mythic Plus and stuff, all that. So if you have to choose between any of them, and it's, it's your main character, choose this one. That's how I see it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will be out testing this war effort to see great ways to farm rep with it if possible. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye.